Number 84. Some miners wish to remove water from a mine shaft. A pipe is lowered to the water 90 meters below and a negative pressure is applied to raise the water. Calculate the pressure needed to raise the water. So for letter A, um, you know, an acceptable answer to this, if they're just asking to calculate the pressure and they don't really give us any particular units, I mean, a valid, a valid answer would be negative 90 meters of water of H2O. I mean, th this is an acceptable answer. Now, I don't think that that's kind of what they want, but you could answer that in that fashion. But if we needed to give the answer in standard units, all we have to do is be able to convert this now into, um, uh, at, uh, excuse me, Pascal, and we can use this formula over here on the right-hand side, right? So let's write that down. So the pressure will be equal to the height of a certain fluid uh, multiplied by the density of that fluid multiplied by gravity. Now here we're talking about uh, water, right? So the height of the water, we want to raise it up to uh, 90 meters. Now remember, normally we're dealing, when we're looking at this formula, we're normally dealing with, you know, finding a pressure here beneath a certain fluid and then knowing the weight on top of it, it's creating a positive pressure, right? But this is exactly the opposite. We want to basically find the pressure, you know, up at the top and we want to, it's a negative pressure to try to pull the water on up. So essentially the height here is the negative value, all right? So basically it's negative 90, that's in terms of meters. The density of water, we're assuming fresh water, that's 1,000, and gravity obviously is 9.8. So when we calculate this, we're going to get a negative answer. So negative 90 times 1,000 times 9.8, and we get a value of about negative 8.82. All right, 8.82 times 10 raised to the 3, 4, 5. So 5 Pascal. All right, so that is the pressure that would be necessary in terms of Pascal that would have to be applied to pump that water up. Um, so now letter B says, what is unreasonable about this pressure? Um, in terms of the calculation, nothing's unreasonable. This is the pressure that's needed. If we had to think about this, you know, in terms of how many atmospheres this is, remember that there's about one times 10 to the five Pascal in one atmosphere. So therefore this is about eight times 10 to the five. So really we're looking at about negative eight, I'm approximating this, negative eight atmospheres Okay, negative eight atmospheres of pressure. All right, these two are equivalent. Um, but you might say to yourself, well, okay, that what, what's the problem with that? Well, the problem is the we have to then think about what's the vapor pressure of water. Okay, this is more of this is a physics concept, but it's studied more in chemistry, so I'm not really going to get into it here. Um, however, uh, there's a certain vapor pressure uh, for uh, water, just like there are for all fluids, and as the pressure above that particular fluid goes down, the likelihood of that fluid vaporizing goes up, meaning turning into a gas. So it just so happens that this pressure is so low that it will cause the water here, that's liquid, to turn into a gas and float on up. So you're not going to be pumping out liquid water, you're going to be removing water vapor. All right, so that's kind of a problem. Um, and then Letter C, what is unreasonable about this premise? Eh, I kind of just described it. So that should be good enough, guys. Hopefully this helped. Please remember to subscribe. Look forward to helping you on more problems. Take care.